All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting! out of Hong Kong. Introducing the challenger, Grandmaster. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning Ending undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Lee! UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. So we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon today. That was a nice strike. He's able to slip the left. Lands flush with that right hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. 
That right hand hurt him a little bit. And they separate. Another punch to the head. Really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Great punch. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank, and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Nice punch land over the top. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Get the plan exactly where you want it to. He got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you gotta make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You gotta get the old. Kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got a first bat. Ooh. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Big ball for Punch Land. Now he gets back to range. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's box with that body kick. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Oh, and there is another knee. He throws that knee almost as if it's a punch. He's landed several in this round, and now you can see some of the damage really starting to show on his opponent. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Throws the right hand there. Ooh, what a punch. He blocks the shot. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, beautiful slip and counter there by Lee. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. to the body here, another strike lands there. It's very tricky to show that body. Lee gets caught with that punch, gotta shore up the defense here. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Just misses with the jab there. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Single collar tie here. Big punch land. Hey, hey, All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. 
Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice punch, man. Over and over, he lands his big body kick. range with that kick attempt. Oh, Superman punch! Oh, single collar tie here. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Hip over when he throws that kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Wow. Actually got the beat down. Lee's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Just over three minutes to go. Well, he's got his back now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. In the single collar tie. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. What a punch. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Nice combination. And the takedown is there. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fight. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Can all these shots count? Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. That kick blocked by Lee. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate. When he decides to attack, it is a sight to behold. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Big head kick lands. And he landed the right hand there. Real nice body kick lands. Right punches there. Try to establish that jab. Big kick lands. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Right hand on point. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Final seconds here of round number two. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. And the horn sounds on round two.
All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his po opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Beautiful punch. And that left hook landed on the button. Handiwork by him there as he lands yet another punch. He does not take time to admire his work. He goes right back to it. Straight punch lands. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie, and they separate. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Big body kiss. Oh, that's a nice strike. And both guys really throwing with authority. Going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Just misses with the right. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice knee to the body there. Way to hide that leg kick. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Look at him dig that body shot right up through his opponent's sternum. There you go. There you go. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Connects with a right. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Lee get caught with that punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, oh. if you're going to sit there and drive through, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken. You don't really stand. After you take a head kick like this, that is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Big leg kick land. Pretty good right hand. Just missing on the high kick there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. 
What's he gonna do to follow up? Ball tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there, now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Waning seconds here of round number three. Nice head kick. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, let us now get you some replays from that previous round. Big part of the narrative, of course, those devastating kicks to the body. Yeah, he's in the right stance to throw that kick to the body. And you see now his opponent starting to carry his hands really low. Look for him to go over the top. Now that he's got, a, he's got him set up the way he wants it. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Ball collar tie. Left hand punch from the clinch. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Let's go, guys. Work. A oh, little single collar tie there. Can't take any of those, you better check. All right, single collar tie now. Boy, tie plump. slams and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad. In the night. Punch over the top. Real quick leg kick. Lands with the right hand. Beautiful body kick lands right up the other. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Just missed with that right hand. Single collar tie now. Big kick lands. Lee's kick to the body, that one blocked. Big body kick land. Good punch land. Cut to the head, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. His opponent was doing a great job of seeing the punches coming straight at him, so he changed the angle and came up through the middle with it. Liver kick. Man, the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. There's no give on that leg kick. Got the single collar tie. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hip, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. He blocks the punch. 
Oh, big punch lands. Beautiful leg. Oh, first man. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Flips the guard, lands the right hand. 30 seconds to go. All right, he engages oh! in the oh! He needs to start looking for finish now because he's got it very bad. He's a drunk. Oh! Back to the feet. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, man, look what that one body shot did. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. You ready? You ready? Fifth and final round. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Oh! Well, you see all the grappling repetitions. That'll do it! Absolutely one for the highlight reel right there. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent and for him, I should say, but just caught him flush, full force, beautiful extension on the kick, and the fight was really over as soon as that one made contact. I'm not even sure he was conscious when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight. Inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At 15 seconds of round number five, declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Lee. Well, he came in with the moniker of baddest man on the planet, and that is exactly the way he goes out. Congratulations. To the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner tonight by way of the KO. And that's a big man celebrating with his team right now. Enjoy it, boys.